This week we're going to be talking about how powerful your words are and we're looking at James chapter 3. In verse 1, James says, Not many people should presume to be teachers because those who teach will be judged more strictly. Now, I haven't seen that written on many seminary brochures and I don't see that written in a lot of churches for roles where there's teaching involved. But there's teaching children, there's teaching adults, there's teaching from a pulpit. There's a lot of teaching going on and the principle here is that with more influence, there's more accountability. So if you're a teacher, yes, uh, God judges more strictly. Why? Because you're influencing a lot of lives and your words impact people to such a deep place it goes right to their soul. Your words, they represent God, they represent truth, uh, they also uh, represent His Word, His character, and as you're representing all these things and the impact you have, your words go right to someone's soul. They steer and guide and direct someone. Yes, people still make choices, but words have power. So, God says, you know, if you're going to step into a role of influence, well, there's going to be more accountability. So, pray for your teachers and uh, also, Pray for the words before you speak because even at home, if you have children, you're teaching your children. And uh, God wants to guide your words through the Holy Spirit.